It's week seven of the NFL, and we get to watch Brian Robinson Jr. He really helped drive them a week ago with a three-touchdown game. It's the Commanders and the Giants next on Madden Football. How are you? I'll do the Raiders. From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Today, we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7, as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the New York Giants. I'm streaming, Cam. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you take a look at this Giants ball club. They come into this one knowing it's been a while since tasting victory. They've dropped four in a row. Can they remember what it was like to win a game? In these types of situations, you're looking for someone to inspire you, and it doesn't have to be one of your best players either. But meanwhile, for the visiting commanders, we're in October now, so everything, everybody should be coming into form, shouldn't they? They really should, and what you have now is a full routine established about what you want to get done and full focus on the season. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. Leading them out. Bro, we lost, we lost the past four games straight. I know. I traded uh, Brissett to the Giants, and I'm about to play them right now. Two interceptions, one touchdown pass. That's not going to be good enough. Got to get that changed around. And I'll let my computer tackle and play my game because I, I don't like hit sticking because they fumble every time I hit stick. 20 carries, 94 yards to the score. And I'm eager to see how they deploy him in this game. Last week, a heavy workload. Do they decide to bring that down a little bit? I still, I, I just like to see my own computer catch interceptions and tackle and stuff. It lets me know how good the players really are. They're going to need to be strong against the run in this one. Now if they could just get their pass defense in line, this unit would be really, really strong. And remember the conversation with the defensive coordinator? He wants them to rush the pass in better. He wants to see the quarterback on the ground. They've got to face themselves. And he said it starts early and often. We'll see if they can get to it. And that'll get them the first down as they get nine yards out of that quick slant. It's Barkley on the counter. Taken down at the 42. Yeah, why wouldn't the injuries be on? They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six. I just got Thompson Robinson from the Browns. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Two yards on the pickup there, and that'll make it second down. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. From the gun, here's Brissett. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 19. From the red zone now, Brissett. And he's got it. And the Giants are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Barkley will take it in for the Giants' touchdown. 
that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways. Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal. They've got to like the way that they started this game. Yeah, well, good luck. Well, come on, man. Be realistic. That shit wouldn't happen in real life. They're not trading no first round pick for a really good quarterback. Why would you do that? Draft a quarterback. So you don't want to have the real franchise experience. Nah, nah. Yes, and if you pick a top five quarterback, chances are he'll be of 75, 77, maybe even an 80. Yeah, it does. What do we call that now in today's NFL? Heck, in today's football? Contact balance, right? That's the buzzword, the phrase you hear. A back who can absorb contact, bounce off of it, and keep moving. Just what you said. Brute strength, force of will. All right, then get another one. Like, that shit happens in real life. You know, we stuck with Derek Carr on the Saints. Until we can draft somebody. Or free agency. You can also sign one in free agency. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Here's Hal to throw on second down. Checks this one down to Robinson. And he's got this down to the 35. They picked up five yards last time. Now they dump. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line. No, I'm talking about at the end of the season when all the really good quarterbacks go to free agency. Bro, what you think I'm doing? Sam fucking Howell. Sam Howell. So, 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 but listen, listen, I'm losing though. I'm losing and I'll eventually get a, you know, a really good quarterback from somewhere. All right. All right. But make sure the trade difficulty is on like very hard. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. John Bates laying himself out in the end zone. And the commanders are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. <laughs> But you're gonna have to adjust the settings, Cameron, because Jimmy Garoppolo gonna complete every pass you fucking throw with him on arcade. Each team's had it. Each team has scored seven seven here as the kicks away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so to bring it out to the twenty-five on the touchback. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. 
So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't feel some flexmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Barkley inside handoff. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Brissett. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll bring up second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Brissett sets to throw it. The short throw pulled in by Bellinger. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 33. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And bulldozing his way through. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. Brissett. It's Barkley once again bringing in the catch. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now Brissett. It's hauled in by Shepard. And they work this near the five will be stopped at the six. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. And in the air once more, it's Brissett. And he finds Shepard, touchdown to Giants. Sterling Shepard, his first touchdown on the year. And the Giants will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. team out there for the Giants as they will send this one away. Brian Robinson Jr. making his way back onto the field. Those are his numbers through roughly the first half of the season and given that you'd have to think he's on pace for a thousand yard campaign. Steady as he goes. Steady goes the offense, but you know what else is happening, too, because they are a team now recognized with the ability to run the football. You've got to be able to throw it better now, right? Better throwing lanes, better opportunities for the guys downfield, maybe more one-on-one -on -one coverage, which you should be able to beat easier. Yeah, he's, he's establishing not just a tone, but an identity for his team. And that's a discussion we had a couple days ago in the team meetings, talking about this running game, opening up the passing game. We'll see if that continues to happen. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. Runs over it. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Back to Robinson now on first down. Busting through contact. Just wasn't a huge hole there for him to operate. Stopped just inside the 35-yard line. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. Sly able to put this one through. So he's been automatic to this point in the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. 
And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and our message received here. No need to wait. We're going to skip halftime and get right back to the action. Here comes the third quarter. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Washington down on the scoreboard, but they are getting the football first here, and we are back underway on EA Sports. The Washington offense ready to go to begin the third quarter. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this. Goblet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. From the 32-yard line now, here's a second and nine. Ready? They'll run here with Rodriguez. They'll take this up just shy of the 40. Excellent display of footwork on that run. Third and four. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It's a nine-yard gain. Drive moving. Hadn't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there. No hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried running through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. Here's a second and eight. This time they'll throw it with Hal. And his throw's going to be incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches have told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Pass taken in by his big tight end. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, that was a pretty good time for his first catch of the ball game, and it turned into a huge play as well. He's certainly not been a central part of this passing game so far in this one. But he... And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. His fourth rushing touchdown on the year, number six overall. And the Commanders have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and it's now 17-14. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. It's a foot race. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Giants. That was a special return, and it happened because he's a special returner. He has to have that approval from the special teams coach's head coach to bring it out of the end zone. Well, let's be honest. A lot of times when they bring it out of the end zone like he did there, they don't have approval. I mean, I, I think a lot of times they do, but correct me if I'm wrong. Sometimes it's just a guy getting a feel, right? You're exactly right. What's the old adage? Sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules. And if you do, you're taking on some responsibility. But he was happy to do so there. So let's try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another kickoff. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. Set to go again. Here's Brian Robinson in the commander offense. He's had a good performance. Moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described... That leads to finding a way into the end zone, and now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And, of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, he's looking for additional yardage, and again, that second score here in the third quarter. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on 
First down to set him back on second. Second down and a run by Robinson. There's Robinson showing the flash. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. 104 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Cam. Look at this fucking move I put on him. You watching? All right, look. Check this out. Look at this fucking move. Defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. I sure hope. Yeah, you, you have to adjust the sliders a lot. That's what I had to do. What? Oh. Hey, that's my first time seeing that. That's pretty cool. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. They're going for it with the option right. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40 yard line. A gutsy call turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. That's a strong pickup right there. First down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. And Arthur Robinson out of the shotgun. And he's able to get it down to the 25 yard line. Seven yards there on the first down. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady game. And he's going to lose yardage here. As they will switch ends as soon as run out on this third quarter play. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Al now to throw it. Middle of the field, he's got McLaurin. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Ball at the six here as they work with a second and two. Now a handoff to Rodriguez. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Third and one. Hal's going to throw it. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring it fourth down here. Sly able to put this one through. And that'll bring him back within a point. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed. Hell yeah. And this one is over. And this will be a touchback. So oh, the defensive player? So now the Giants set to take over. God damn, yeah. They've dropped four straight games coming into this one, remember, but they have the lead here. 
Slim Jim. Brissett on first down. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. The sets throw brought in by Bellinger. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 27 yards there, first down. To throw the set. And he is going to lose yardage here. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Off the play fake, here's Brissett. Oh, the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Back onto the field now, the commander's offense. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the... to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down. <laughs> I mean, realistically, you would have to give up a lot. Well, then yeah, that's good. That's pretty easy. Yeah, I, I, I would give him a pick too. Yeah, no. Supposed to be. We couldn't even beat the fucking Giants. We couldn't stop Saquon. They just, that's how they beat us. in this contest. And I think you're exactly right about that. To me, this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other. 
and they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first. But today, neither side made that mistake. And what we got, a very entertaining game throughout. So for the Giants, they fall a game under 500 now at three up and four down. And they'll get to stay home again next week as the New York Jets come to town. Meanwhile, for the Commanders, it's loss number five for them on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. Oh, no, that's too much. That's too much. Oof. Or trade for somebody who... Uh, who may not, who may be like a, you know, like a backup or like a sleeper person, you know? Like a young person, like a young quarterback that's a rookie or something like that, that people wouldn't very high on or something. I don't know. I don't know, but. Or just wait till free agency and just get somebody out of free agency. Ah. Cameron, you, you didn't get to free agency yet. You're still in the season. Free agency is at the end of the season.